Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. I've got a major set out here and I'm gonna go over it with you. It's been a while. The only other instrument video I really did was the minor tray. And since I kinda had this major set open, I figured, what the heck, I'll go through it with you guys. So stay tuned. Now, use cases for this major set. Anything in the abdomen, really, you're gonna have a major set. Uh, even if you're working in with like a urologist and you're, you're working with ureters and stuff like that. Now we do have a urology set that is very similar to this major set, but your hospital may not have something like that. So a major set is a great general use case for your major abdominal surgery cases. You'll always have one on hold for your laparoscopic cases, your lap coles, your lap appies, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's jump into the instruments. All right guys, let's just start from left and we will go to all the way down to the right for this major set. So for this major set, we have some uh, knife handles here. We have two number three knife handles and one long number three. Ooh, nope. All right guys, to start this major set off, we're gonna start from this side and just kind of work down the, uh, the back table here. So we have two number three knife handles and we have one long number three knife handle. Um, when it comes to valve surgery, you're gonna need a long knife blade, a long, usually the number 10 knife blade for when you use like a TA30 stapler or something like that uh, to, cut, to cut that tissue after you use the stapler. Moving down, we have our forceps lined up here. We have some Adsons with teeth. Those are obviously used for uh, skin. Here's our Adson with teeth. Uh, deep tissue could be, um, uh, again, closure. This is a Bonnie forceps. It's like a, basically like a really big fat rat tooth. Also used for closure, but more of your deep tissue closure. Uh, we have some smaller rat tooth forceps and a longer rat tooth forcep again could be used for deep tissue and just generally um, a grippier forcep this is just a packing forcep this is basically just a long smooth forcep if you want to pack anything down into the pelvis or something like that you got some bleeding you take a packing forcep you can pack a bunch of uh, laps down there fold it out lap or something like that Next, we have four debakies. We have two of these uh, shorter debakies and two longer debakies. Uh, obviously, these are your general use um, forceps that you, you know you utilize throughout procedures. And then we have a long, medium, and small Russian forcep. These Russian forceps are pretty interesting. They have this uh, kind of rounded tip to it. It's more of an atraumatic forcep. Great use for kind of picking up bowel and, and stuff like that. So for this uh, major set, we actually have two stringers here. I have one right here and I have another one over here. Uh, we do have so many instruments in this set that we just need to, you know, kind of break it up into two uh, stringers because, you know, these, these little stringer things aren't long enough to hold all of these instruments. But just going on down the line, we start off with um, four piercing towel clips and four non-piercing towel clips. We have two, four, six Kelly clamps. Kelly clamps are obviously just your general use clamps for uh, clamping bleeders, stuff like that, just clamping tissue, cutting it, and, uh, and maybe doing like some, some ties around the uh, tissue. This is its bigger brother, the Mayo clamp, or could be, could be called a peon, stuff like that. Um, we have six Alice clamps here. Uh, it's Alice's kind of twin sister would be the Alice Adair, which is uh, usually in a GYN set, and it's got a slightly 
wider head to the to the Alice clamp, but this is a good atraumatic clamp to use. Uh, we have the Babcock, mostly used on bow because of its atraumatic use or atraumatic qualities, I, could, I should say. We have the tonsil clamps, which are you know similar in look to a Kelly or or a Mayo clamp. It's just a little bit longer. A lot of the times you may see like a tie on a pass installed onto one of these or maybe a peanut on these for blunt dissection. We have some coker, coker clamps here. You see that nice big spike on the end of the clamp there. This coker clamp is great use for holding on and grasping on to that really, really tough tissue. Uh, Purpose, purposefully in, in a major set, most of the time on the abdomen is peritoneum. You know, they could just grab onto that peritoneum and kind of lift up so they could really get a good look on, you know, either lateral side of, of the abdomen. Uh, some right angles, general use right angles are obviously great for getting around vessels and stuff like that. Or just generally used for dissection. We have our sponge forceps and when we put sponge uh, sponges on them or Ratex on them, they can be the sponge stick that you see quite often. Now we're just kind of coming into uh, some longer instruments. We have some longer right angles and then a multitude of different scissors. We have long and short uh, Metzenbaum scissors. Uh, straight and curved uh, Mayo scissors and also some um, smaller and longer Smith pot scissors just surgeon preferences they like to have those so we have two four six eight scissors all together in this set um, now we're just coming down into the needle holders needle holders are all pretty much Mayo Hagar needle holders and we have just a multitude of different sizes depending on the depth of tissue but these are general use needle holders and we have two, four, six, eight needle holders as well. Now coming down to the end of the stringer here uh, I want to just showcase some kind of tissue specific uh, instruments we have on the second stringer. We have two, four, six, eight of these curved peons. These peons are huge as you can see. These probably about 10 inch peons that we have in here for grasping. We have our doyens, our curved and our straight doyen uh, clamps. These clamps are utilized for bowel all the time. These are specific to clamping on bowel. Then we just have some long Alice clamps, some long Babcocks, and some super long 12 inch Mayo Hagar needle holders for when you need to get down there deep into the pelvis. Now the end of this tray is basically right here. Uh, I keep all the retractors inside of the tray and have my stringer uh, obviously just up front. But starting from the left here, we have our big rake retractors. These are one, two, three, four, five, six prong rake, rake retractors. These are pretty big, and you may see them used in something like a mastectomy. Uh, we have two and two. We have four, uh, two different sizes of Richardson retractors. You've seen Richardson retractors before, um, and they obviously come in two different sizes, depending on the size of the case that you're doing. We have our general use US Army Navy uh, retractor there and moving down something you may not have seen yet would be this looks like a Richardson but it doesn't have an opposite end it just has a handle on the other end and that's because this is called a Kelly retractor obviously it's much much bigger than a Richardson retractor we have our Deaver retractors. These are two different uh, widths. We have one that's a little bit more narrow and one that's a little bit wider. We have three um, 
uh, malleables here, all different widths as well. And then under here, we have our Balfour retractor. This retractor is, is interesting, and, and let me put it together just to show you, just to give you a better idea. So this Balfour retractor actually has two different depths of, of blades, depending on how big the patient is. Um, and they have these little buttons here that will lock in place, obviously in these little rivets that are built into the retractor. Uh, we will have the curve of the retractor toward the inside because that's the way we're going to put it in our tissue. And you basically just slide them in and install them just like that. We go ahead and put it in the abdomen and then they just stretch the abdomen open. It's as simple as that. Now you may be wondering what this little, this little guy here is for. Um, if we're working a little bit lower in the pelvis, we need to get the bladder out of the way. We have this bladder retractor right here that we can install and tighten that wing nut down to kind of keep the bladder out of the way to give the surgeon a better view. Now I can say that most of the time, you know, for cases like uh, you're doing an exploratory laparotomy and you don't quite know what you're going to get into, you may not be always using that Balfour retractor. You may be, you may have a big book walter and you've seen the video on the book walter before, but it's like a big or some kind of big table mounted retractor, self retaining retractor that they may need for a big open belly case. Now I hope you guys liked the video on this major set. I tried to just do it out really quick. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will always read the comments below. May not always answer them. But I do read every single one of them. And as always, thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.